Hello YouTube, eHome here today, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to add and launch applications or ELF files directly to your PS2 HDD OSD browser. Um, so here you can see I'm in my HDD OSD browser, and I have uLaunch ELF installed right here. Click triangle, you can see the information on it, and if I click X, it will boot directly up. There we go. So the requirements for this tutorial are a PS2, of course, with HDD OSD installed on the hard drive. And you're going to need a, uh, a USB as well, a thumb drive as well, formatted FAT32. You're going to need a Ethernet crossover cable. And you're going to need a uh, computer as well as an a requirements folder which is going to be linked in the description below hddosd.rar so once you have everything let's go ahead and I'm going to go over to the computer now and show you guys where to begin okay so here I am over at my computer and I have the hddosd rar right here and I've extracted it to its own folder already so here inside of the folder, you're going to see we have some subfolders as well as an exe and an elf file. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up my USB here. File Explorer. And here is my USB. I'm going to go ahead to format and make sure it's FAT32. Allocation size, make, just go ahead and leave that alone. Or you can click restore device defaults and then click FAT32 as there. And click start. format complete all right so from here what we're going to want to do is take this ule khn and just drag it over to your usb as well as this browser ready apps folder drag it over to the root of your usb and we're also going to need this hdl server .elf inside of this HDL dumbx folder. Just go ahead and drag that over to your USB as well. So once you have done that, you're going to need the ELF file for the application that you're going to want to um, add to the hard drive. So for me, I'm going to be doing open PS2 loader and it is already in this browser ready apps folder. So from here in this, it, this is my ELF folder or my ELF file for open PS2 loader. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and you're going to need a kelf file as well as all of these three files as well to be able to get the application to boot up correctly so i'm going to be explaining those in further detail but now what you want to grab is your elf file and you're going to want to convert it to a kelf file if you do not have a kelf file already so from here i'm going to take that execute.elf file which is my open ps2 loader i'm going to paste it into the folder with the sce doormat so you're going to want to take the ELF file for whatever your application is going to be and put it in the SCE doormat folder. Once it is in there, just go ahead and click on it and drag it onto the SCE doormat.exe and it will produce an execute or whatever that um, it will produce a kelf file from your ELF file. You're going to want to rename it since the kelf is in all lowercase here. Just go ahead and delete that and add a K to the beginning of this. So it's kelf. See, you got the got the elf file and then the kelf file now. So go ahead and take that kelf file as well, and you're going to want to drag both of these actually over to the root of your USB. So once you have that, go into the sample files folder, and here are the files that you're going to need to transfer over to your PS2 from the HDL dumb which I'm going to be explaining in detail later so what you want to do is you want to take a copy of these and you're going to want to um, place them into the HDL dumb X folder and go ahead and delete this boot.elf that is in the HDL dumb X folder so now that you have done that what you want to do is copy this HDL dumbx folder or cut it rather 
and paste it into the root of your C drive. Just going to paste it there. And it may ask you for uh, privileges asking that you can actually paste it there. Um, just make sure that you paste it in the root of your C drive. And from here, I'm going to delete that and rename this HDLD. Just HDLD. So from here, open up that folder and just leave this open for right now. So now you want to open this icon.sys, right click on it, and you want to click open with. And it's going to ask you what you want to open it with. It's going to say you're attempting to open a file, just click show apps, and then open it. You want, what you want to do is open it with notepad. So if it doesn't show it up here, you're going to go down to look, you want to scroll down here and it should show notepad somewhere down in here. You want to find notepad and do not check this, but just open it with notepad. Click OK. And here it is. It's going to open up this text file right here and you're going to want to edit these two lines right here. These are the names. This is what it's going to show when you try to launch the application from your hard drive. So here you're going to want to edit the title zero into your application name. So I'm going to be adding open PS2 loader. So I'm going to put open PS2 loader. Now you can only have a maximum of 16 characters, 16 letters in each one of these title lines. So open PS2 loader, I believe is, let's see. It's 15 characters. So. I'm going to go down here and since the version that I'm using is 1682 daily build version I'm going to put that 1682 DB and I'm going to file save do not edit anything else other than the title lines in the icon sys folder just go ahead and once you've added the application name just click file and save it now we can exit out of there and this ICO file right here is going to be the icon which is going to show up on your hard drive for the application that you're using. This is just a uh, a placeholder icon. Um, so it's just going to be a basic icon. It's going to show up, but it's still going to let you boot. Um, I believe the icon that is in there right now is... Um, hold on one minute. I believe the icon that's in there right now is this icon right here this white icon ps2e I believe this is the icon that's going to show up for the application so um, if you want to make a custom icon I'm going to leave a link in the description showing a tutorial or linking to a tutorial on how to make your custom icons um, but that's what this uh, BMP2 icon is for it's for making your custom icons so um, once you've edited that icon sys folder um, here depending on what application you're using in my browser ready browser ready applications folder from the ACD OSD I have some applications that are already compiled so for me since I'm using OPLDB the daily build I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna copy this list.ico just copy it and you want to paste it in the HDLD folder replace it so um, now once you have everything there and you have the execute.elf and the execute.kelf for your particular application as well as um, the HDL server and the ule.khnelf on your USB um, what you're going to want to do is eject your USB and start up command prompt in administrator mode so type in cmd and run it as administrator if you don't run it as administrator this won't work correctly so here's my command prompt and the reason we added the HDLD folder and Windows C is so we can get to it easier so what we're going to want to do is type in CD space C colon backslash HDLD backslash and click enter and then it's going to take us to the HDLD folder so um from here what we're going to want to do is once you have this open and ready type in hdl underscore dump 
dot exe space modify header modify underscore header and then type in the IP address of your PS2 I'll show you how to obtain that here in a second and then type in the partition name type in pp dot and from here just leave everything open on your computer leave leave this open and head over to the PS2 I'll show you what to do next okay so once you're back over at the PS2 you want to go ahead and plug your USB in and launch you launch elf just regular you launch elf and from you launch elf go into the file browser go into mass and you're going to want to launch the ULE KHN elf Once in the ULE KHN, you're going to want to go to File Browser again, go down to Miscellaneous, and go to the HDD Manager. It's going to load the modules, set information red, and from here you're going to want to press R1, Create, and create your new partition. You're going to want to put PP, period, and put the application name that you're going to be adding to your hard drive. So for me, I'm going to be adding OpenPS2 Loader, so I'm just going to put OPL as an abbreviation, and um, it's going to be the OpenPS2 Loader Daily Build is the one that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to put OPLDB here, and I'm going to press OK. If you have a application name that you're going to be putting a space in. Instead of space, you have to use a dash or an underscore. You cannot use spaces because uh, it won't work. So go ahead and click circle on OK. And it's going to say how big you want it to make. Just click circle on 128 megabytes. Create new partition. Circle on OK. And I'm going to delete this OPL partition. It's because I created it earlier, but I don't need it. So I'm just going to remove it. So here is the partition that you should add it. It should be at the bottom of your partition list. The one that I just added was OPLDB. And from there, you're going to click triangle to exit this. Go back into the file browser. And if we go into the hard drive, we should see the folder right here, pp.opldb, the one that I just made. So press triangle, go back over to your USB in the file browser. And your USB is mass, by the way. So click circle on mass and click... Um, X on the execute.elf as well as the execute.kelf and you'll see a little circle pop up next to them when you click X on them you want to click X on the execute.elf and the execute.kelf again and then um, press R1 click copy press circle on copy and then it should say copy to clipboard go back up to the hard drive and go into your partition that you created and from here press R1 and paste your files once you have pasted your files go back into your mass and press circle on HDL server it's going to load up and from here it should tell you your PS2's IP address right here mine is 192.168.0.13 and um, you're going to want to take note of that, as you can see, um, and you're going to want to plug your Ethernet cable into your PC to the back of your PS2 now. So once you load it up HDL server, just go ahead and leave your PS2 on and head back over to the PC. Okay, now that we're back over at the PC, you should still have these fold these files. Uh, make sure that you have these files in your HDLD folder. And um, should still have the command prompt open with the uh, with the command that I told you to type in, which is hdl underscore dump dot exe space modify underscore header space. Then enter your PS2's IP address. Mine is one nine two one six eight zero thirteen. Yours will more than likely be different. And then space after that. And then you want to enter the partition name that you created on your PS2 and you launch out. Mine was pp dot OPLDB. So here I'm going to enter pp.opldb and then just click enter. 
and then it should give you this log successfully read successfully read successfully read skipped 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 and then if you see that everything should have gone well so now what you want to do is just um, power off your PS2 and you can close out of the command prompt and you can close out of this as well you can delete the icon.sys the list.ico as well as the system.cnf files from the hdld folder but go ahead and leave the hdld folder in your c drive um if you are going to be adding more applications that is if not then it's pretty much useless but from here we're going to go back over to the ps2 so turning the ps2 back on now Gonna see the frame boot logo. You may not. And I'm gonna go into the browser. Here, if everything went successfully, you should be able to go into your hard drive. And here I have the OPL folder that I created with the open PS2 loader and the 1682 DB information that I filled in as well as the icon that I added. So now I can click X on this and it should load up directly to OpenPS2 Loader. As we can see, it is loading. And here are the games that I have and I'm just gonna go ahead and exit and go back out to the main menu. So it's kinda, this video I feel was kinda all over the place and I apologize for that, but if this tutorial did help you guys out, please leave a like, uh, comment if you have any questions or concerns or whatever, and subscribe if you feel the need to. Once again, this has been eHomie. Thank you guys for watching the video. Have a nice day.